Welcome back to my Star Fox Adventures Let's Play. Hey guys, I've got good news for you. We're halfway through the Let's Play, yay! We're halfway there, whoa! Anyway, before I, I'm going to stop singing that before I get copyright stricken. Struck, whatever. Dip, 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 Let's get around there. Right, last time we got a spell stone, and now we are heading for Water Force Point Temple. But first we've got to go down here, because plot. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, for Pete's sake! It is, you probably didn't notice, uh, well... You probably did notice it, because I noticed it, but that guy over there just hit me while I was in the middle of combat. And he's off. Da, 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 da. You got a thing that magically appeared on the floor even though it was already in your hands. Right, now it's time to run. Because that guy will actually shoot at you, I think. If I remember correctly. I'm not testing it out. No, that's just scabs. Anyway. Yeah, but this is one of the more... Well, this false point temple I'm not really too keen on. Um, you, it's, it's not like um, The Legend of Zelda where it's frustrating because it has loads of stupid puzzles uh, and everything. It's, um, well, it does have one stupid puzzle that just stupid. It's just stupid, okay? Anyway, we need to lift that up so we can climb onto this and onto here. Now that waterfall stop rushing down. Yep. Now we need to go out there. Again. There's, there it is. I do. There. 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 Now I'm going to go over here. And. We're going to jump down here. And the while you're in here, you're going to be want to be careful to, of dodging the whirlpools. There's one right there. So I'm just going to mash A a bit. And that's that done. And I always hurt you. At least they put some health here. It's just like, yeah, that we know it hurts you. So here's some health back. So. We want to get this out. Then we want to go back into here and pull the fire gem out. Wait, oh no, what? Oh yeah, we have to take that one out and put the fire. No, what? Okay. Oh yeah, that, you just remove that. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, like the f what the only part in this game I think I've actually tried to forget about because I hated doing it so much. And we're off inside the Crusoe's mouth. Now we put that in there. Yeah, put that in there. Uh, 
And now we have to fix this. Tell Chucky to stay. Flip it back up. Tell Chucky to flame. There we go. Easy peasy. Hovering fire. Anyway. And then that hits that and opens the door. There you go. That's that done. So now nah, that that bit wasn't too bad, but right? I think we're just about on to the um bit that I actually tried to forget about about now. So that's so, Do we just have to tell Tricky to stay on it? No, he's too small to reach it. Um wait. If I turn around here is yeah, there is. And Chucky completely disappears in the cutscene. I don't know if that's a glitch or something. Oh, there he is. But it's just a thing that happened. And we have this. Right. Uh, I'm just going to feed you quickly, Chucky. Uh, where's your book dobs? There they are. And we're gonna get you. There you go, now. And get that. Wait for the fire to die down. And pop that down. Uh, I don't think there's anything special down here. No, just another way out. And I need to get back up there. Can I shoot it from here? Yeah, probably. Just need to... Right. No, nope, come on. There we go. And it teleported us here with no tricky. Again. So maybe that's intentional. Well, probably intentional. Anyway, let's get this uh, big block of stone moved onto here. Hmm. Here's, here's a question. Has Glue Attack done a death battle with um, Fox yet? I think they probably have. I don't know if they mentioned that you can move giant blocks of stone and ice. Anyway. Oh, fun fact. Um, I think I remember somebody I interviewing um, the creator of Star Fox and asked him... Uh, why uh, you know the gang did not have legs? Because you can see, oh, like hit the um, bottom half of his legs are um, artificial. Also, I didn't know they could actually damage boxes. That's cool. Anyway, um, and it, he said uh, apparently it was like easier to model in the game. So there's no re significant reason why uh, you know they don't have. The bottom half of their legs is just that the game creators thought it would be easier to for them to have no legs. There you go. So that's a nice little tidbit for you. If you like, uh, yeah, like if you like um, like hearing about the development of um, character designs and stuff, like I do, that is a like cool little thing. Um, it'll be in here. There it is. And we're in. This is a bit I hate. Right. Where's Tricky? Oh, there he is. Right, stay there. Now here we have a pattern. Now you may think, oh, this is just like the pattern to go uh, to get across. So I'm just going to like, um, so that one's lit up there. And it 